Faithful out in full force here in Cary, North Carolina, as their boys make their record 17th national finals appearance. Looking for that elusive ninth national title, title for Todd Yegley and crew. Syracuse, they've never been here before. They look loose and relaxed. First time ever they could claim a national men's soccer title, and they're poised and ready to do it. Wake Bed Soccer Park is the setting here. Salem Soccer Stadium, the number 13 seed. Indiana taking on the three seed, Syracuse, with everything to play for. Again, he wants to cut in on that right foot. There he goes again. He'll get the shot off. Shealy there. On it. He's got Johnson to his left. Filipoku. He plays single man. Oh, Saved by Harms. Poku has the ball at his feet. He's already got an overlapping run coming. Delayed from Baselli, but he stops because he sees that Singleman can't give it away there. Center back gives it away. Could be an opportunity. kashevsky has got Johnson. And Poku still shot saved by Harms. This inning by JT Harms is this ball. Let's fly. It's perfect. When you just Poku. A little bit of room by Mayer. Still a Poku gets the shot. It's in. He opens the account for the game again. Nathan Apoku! His 11th goal of the season! And giving Syracuse the 1 0 lead! He's got an engine, yes, but watch his feet. Gray with the back to the goal and unpredictable. The inability to figure out exactly what the scout is going to be on him. The marking's not bad whatsoever. You've got the 2v1 there, coverage defensively, but there's too much respect. The tail end of it. Just a little mistake by the freshman in Wagoner. You gotta step up into the space there. Floated back post. Set it up, not cleaned up. Falls, it's in! McDonald, he equalizes! His second goal of the season! And there's a melee in the corner, because it's 1-1 in the national final. Situations enter the set piece, they change games. The ball's actually won by Cuse on the backside here, but the 50-50, they can't win the second one. Todd Yeagley said, we got to find a way. Lock down their strikers, the intermittent press, but we have to win the 50-50 balls. McDonald steps in for everybody at home. This kid's left-footed. You would never know it for the class take off this right foot into the corner. Perfect technique. Trevor Barber and Poku. Saw what he could do before already. The opening goal of the match. Gets it in. Falls. Two one. And it's Kellogg, super sub, right off the bench, and a huge impact. Third goal of the season for the sophomore. And again at a big time like he did in the ACC tournament. Top of the 18, he slows it down. He can be selfish at times, but this is one of the better moments because watch the space open up at the top of the box. Beautiful. The rotation, you get Kaloff coming all the way from the far post. Whose foot works better? The ability to bring this back in or that touch right there? Proper coverage in the central spots. Oh, going for goal right to the arms of Holmes. Shielding way off. He hardly retreated after the corner, but now there's still an opportunity. Yeah. Mahalo trying to chip it for Dean. Chile gets a touch on it. And you feel for Tommy Mahalo here because with the space, it's a difficult take. He has to hit it first time. And because of. Oh, yeah, some space looking to cross. He's got a Poku there. The flex out off of Poku in the end. This could be an opportunity. Byros plays it wide to Apoku. Kuszewski in the middle. Apoku, square ball, finds the feet of Labeled. A couple touches to flex. Arms there. Kuszewski, Paselli, whoever's rotating through even Byros, you gotta commit. Endeley. Endeley, shot! Just north of the goal. Now all of a sudden, that's the committal that you want. Sinclair goes over. So on the back line, if your six jumps up, you have to make a decision. Hop back out. Quick and brink. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa! Oh. No! No! Did it cross the line or not? There is no signal from Thompson. That is reviewable. That looked in. It was close. Very close. Right off the 90. And we'll see if they actually take a look. Let's us take a look first. 
Oh, no, it's out. It's out. Wow. Oh, so Flex into the Kobe Corral. And the lead! Tattoo! He just scores big goals! 2020 semifinal, he gave him the game winner. He gives him the equalizer in the 2022 net. Side, but you gotta have it on the width. More appropriately, where's the late run coming from? Now it's not out of your screen, but watch him just drift off here. Recognizes that there's an influx of players by Syracuse defensively. They're all ball watching. They forget about the runners on the back shoulder, and then Endley goes to work. Whether or not you're willing to chase this game. Abel in some space, arms off his line, big save! Combining with Mahalik, finding Sarver, he does. Play on his signal, Sarver trying to get it out wide, shot! Oh, outside netting. Quick throw, maybe an opportunity here. Fight for Wagner on the first one! Oh! Lashed at it! Oh, he's right there, they're so quick on the draw here from Mahalik. Look at the little hop. That little hop okay. right there. Oh. And here we go. The drama's going to continue. Will Indiana get their ninth star, or will Syracuse go down in history as the first title team ever in the history of the Orange program? To set Indiana up. Perfect penalty. And Sheely guessed right, but he beat him anyway. To equalize the shootout. The Italian nets it. Yeah. Gives him a 4-3 advantage. Can he do it? Nails it. And now we are essentially in sudden death. The soccer gods are smiling down on Johnson as he smiles back to his team. He came real head on with it. Just laces right Ooh. through it. Sheely saves it! He sets the table! Now who steps forward for Syracuse? It has to be their captain, their heart and soul. For Anthony Sinclair, the senior from Costa Rica, to do what was unthinkable months ago. for the first time in program history. Forgotten about, left behind, 12 transfers from all over the country have come together to etch their names in history and never be forgotten.